Make a pink elixir for your plants. They'll be bushier than ever. Start by preparing a tall glass container. The key ingredient for this fertilizer is potassium permanganate, a substance with strong antiseptic and oxidizing properties. Add a small amount to the container, then pour in water and mix well. Next, take a lemon and cut it in half. Lemon is a natural pH regulator that helps plants absorb nutrients. In another container, add one tablespoon of baking soda. This amazing ingredient helps neutralize excessive soil acidity and improve soil structure. Squeeze half the lemon into the container with the baking soda. Now, take the pink potassium permanganate solution and pour most of it into the container with the baking soda and lemon to achieve the right concentration. Then strain the fertilizer through a sieve to prevent lemon seeds from getting into the solution. Your pink elixir is ready. Use it once every three or four weeks, watering the plants at the base. With this natural fertilizer, your plants will become stronger, healthier, and more resistant to diseases. Try this method and see the spectacular results. Roses can last up to two weeks if you follow these two key steps before placing them in a vase. Flowers are often cut days or hours before purchase, which causes their stems to seal at the ends, turning hard and brown. Trim them at an angle using pruning shears. Then, place them in a bowl and pour boiling water over the stems, leaving them in for just 10 seconds. The warm water opens up the channels that allow the rose to absorb moisture. Next, prepare the florist's secret formula in another bowl. Drop in one aspirin tablet. Expired ones work just fine. Crush it into a fine powder with a heavy object. Aspirin prevents bacteria from developing in the vase, strengthens the flowers, and protects against mold. Then, add half a teaspoon of sugar to nourish and fortify the roses. Now, take a strong alcoholic beverage and add just a splash to the mixture. Follow with a bit of hydrogen peroxide, which disinfects and balances the water's pH. Finally, you can add a drop of dish soap to further prevent bacteria growth. Mix everything well and pour it into a vase filled with cold water before placing the roses inside. The ingredients in the water strengthen the flowers and prevent mold, helping your bouquet last much longer. Remember to change the water every two days for the best results. Place a stick into a cola bottle and you'll create something extraordinary. Take an empty cola bottle or any drink bottle and a cotton swab. Cut the cotton swab near the cotton part. Use a screwdriver to make a small hole in the bottle cap. Insert the stick into the cap so that the cotton part is outside the bottle. Apply glue around the stick to make sure it's securely attached to the cap and wait for it to dry. Once dry, unscrew the bottle and fill it halfway with water. Take rubber bands and place three at the bottom and three at the top. Now, insert three long skewers along the bottle under the rubber bands. This will hold them in place. You've just created an amazing watering device for your plants. The cotton tip will slowly drip water providing the plant with the right amount. This homemade irrigation system is a great way to care for your plants, even if you forget to water them regularly or plan to be away for a long time. I always cook garlic. It's a tried and true method from my grandmother that helps tackle a common problem. Some plants in the garden or at home seem unhealthy, despite no obvious cause. Pest infestations, yellowing leaves, or fungal growth are frequent issues that have a simple and natural solution. Garlic has long been valued for its antibacterial, antifungal, and insecticidal properties. It effectively repels pests and protects plants from fungal diseases. Start by crushing five cloves of garlic and placing them in a pot. Add two cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon has natural properties that fight fungi and help inhibit bacterial growth. Pour in 350 milliliters of water and bring it to a boil. Let it simmer for five minutes, then cool and strain. Spray the leaves or water the plants once a week to prevent infections and repel pests. The infusion repels aphids, mites, and other pests, and also protects plants from fungal diseases, such as powdery mildew and rust. It's an effective, natural alternative to chemical products, helping to keep your garden healthy without harming the environment. Throw some matches into water. 
you'll be surprised by their amazing properties. Pour 500 milliliters of hot water into a container, then add a few matches. Gently stir the mixture, and soon you'll notice the water starting to change color. This means the sulfur is dissolving from the matches. Continue stirring for a few minutes until all the sulfur is dissolved. It may take a while. See how it should dissolve. Remove the matchsticks and use the water to water your plants. The sulfur acts as a natural fungicide, helping to fight mold and fungi, keeping your plants healthier. It also promotes root development, leading to stronger growth and better blooming. This inexpensive trick is genius. Your flowers will reward you with vibrant growth. Give it a try and watch your plants thrive like never before. A gardener taught me how to make an eco-friendly fertilizer. When your plants are weakening and you've tried everything, give them this mixture. In the middle of summer, they will bloom beautifully again. You don't need to buy expensive products from the store. To prepare a natural fertilizer for your flowers, get a blender and put banana peels into it. Add coffee grounds and six eggshells. Then add a bit of water, close the blender, and blend everything into a smooth mixture. It looks like this. Apply it under the flowers, lifting the leaves to spread the fertilizer closer to the roots. Banana peels are rich in potassium, which supports blooming and strengthens roots. Coffee grounds contain nitrogen, which stimulates leaf development and healthy greenery. Eggshells provide the plants with phosphorus and calcium, which are essential for growth and strong stems. This mixture improves growth, supports blooming, and strengthens the plants. You can alternate it with the fertilizers we recommend in our other videos. Even a single tablet can save any houseplant. Many people are unaware of how important supplements are for plants. You can find vitamins and minerals right in your home medicine cabinet. With their help, the results of your gardening efforts will be amazing. All it takes is a little time to learn how to use them for your plants. Asbargan contains magnesium and potassium. A deficiency in these elements can cause yellowing of the leaves. Plants become weak and fail to bloom. With potassium and magnesium tablets, your plants will revive and grow more lush. Simply make a small hole in the soil, insert the tablet, cover it up, and water the plant. Use this method every two to three weeks, and you'll see a difference. Glycine is an amino acid that's a fundamental component of plant tissues and chlorophyll. Glycine enhances the absorption of nutrients through the roots and increases chlorophyll concentration. As a result, plant leaves and flower buds grow much better. Just dissolve one tablet in a liter of water and water your plants with it. Aspirin strengthens plants against diseases and accelerates their growth. Salicylic acid, found in aspirin, naturally occurs in plants and boosts their immune systems, protecting them from pests. Once every two months, dissolve one tablet in 50 milliliters of water. Use it as a spray or watering solution. Calcium is a component of cell walls, influencing their permeability, activating enzymes, neutralizing organic acids, and supporting root growth and development. It also aids in nitrogen absorption and enhances resistance to pests. Crush a tablet and dissolve it in 500 milliliters of water. Water your plants with it once every three weeks. Tryptophan reduces stress, preventing growth and development stunting in plants. It's ideal for plants that have been repotted or moved to a new location. Dissolve two capsules in water and use it to water your plants. Iodine works wonders for plant growth and health. It's widely used to combat fungal diseases and bacteria. Few people know that no bacteria have ever developed resistance to iodine. When your plants are sick and you're not sure what's wrong, give them iodine. Dissolve five tablets in a liter of warm water, let it cool, and then water your plants with it. 